From Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida, this is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America. I am Chris Hansen, that's Joe Stapleton. Hello, my babies. Tonight we'll see some new faces at the table and some of the usual ones that we really like. You mean like when Jess Dolly comes and hangs out on the rail for a little while? No, I meant Phil Locke. He's the best! Also, there is a massive pot, so stick around. Babes, what did you do? Like, everyone I left thought, the table. We've like, got five new players that are sitting down to join us. Jack, I don't, oh, wait, no, I've been told that it's a body on. hygiene I issue. I really thought he had... King Poker Night in America yeah, brought to you by Kimosabi. Don't kill your hunter. Suit days to kick things off for Phil Locke. The speech was the best part, other than he was completely wrong about the speech. Correct. The speech was could have been further. It could be further from the truth. I thought I couldn't bet, but I just couldn't lose. What speech are we talking about? We're talking about the end of last week's South Park. Stan delivered a doozy. Finally, somebody's got some cojones raising the 300 Asher Kniff. Wow. That's what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. Ah, look, guys, we have to stop treating people like objects if we ever want the game to grow. It's the, you know, they both, both properties retain. Three players are going to see the flop together. Shut up, Asher. It's queen high. So, Matt, how is the, um, or what do you want to be called by? Me? Yeah, Matt. Better. No? Lewis. Lewis? Lewis, yeah. how was the uh, thing you played in? It's Matt Salzberg she's talking to. His name is not Lewis, but his personality does resemble was, Rick Moranis from Ghostbusters. It was a 1K. We did a $500. Everybody fasten your seatbelts. We are very likely to see a car younger. crash. Wow. I, I don't know why you'd need to fasten your seatbelt to, to see a car crash, but it sounded uh, better in my head. Kniff gets out of the way, but with this not flush straw and Phil Locke's propensity to gamble, things could get weird. Problem with Phil's hand is that he's kind of going to want to see both cards, so calling once is often not going to be enough, and if he hits as hard on the turn, it's not always going to get him paid. He may elect to just get all the money in now. <laughs> I really want to do it, Dan Shack. I just want to move forward, like, with consistent, delicate, well-appointed strength and have them land here. <laughs> but I don't want you to, like, have three queens, too. That would be no fun. He's going to need a delicate, consistent, well-appointed heart on the Turner River. You want me to shove it? <laughs> I mean, you can help me decide. Sorry, Phil, I can't help you. Yeah. It's Lewis. Yeah. I'm calling him Lewis because I'm Matt. Yeah, it's Lewis. No. To you. There they go. <laughs> Everything into the middle. Well, That's a tough decision, yeah. Um, I actually really like when the hands take this long because I say. How much is it? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Jack calls. Here we go, baby. Oh, man. I got ace high. Where you go? Gumbo. Gumbo is right, Esther. You have a flush draw for sure. Yeah. Get stirred up. So we're going to be looking for hearts here for Phil Locke. Running sixes. Ace is no That's good. That's about it. That would be dirty. Shaq is going to have to fade. Six is live, though. Nice hand. <laughs> Six is live. Yeah, that is not a heart. I keep it back and pay you in Bellagio flags or something. Let me, can I pay you in flags? So, so let's go ahead and How much is it? pound out let's a thirty-eight thousand dollar pot over 20. to get rolling 14. here on Poker Night in America. Uh, Mr. You. Ash Money like is getting I'm involved. Three fifty is the raise. Yeah. I did well last time. Oh, Michael no. Pahuja. <laughs> gonna make the call with a suited nine ten. Three fifty from Muckle. The master, Pahuja. I'm replacing the former master. That's not a good legacy to keep, I'll keep actually. <laughs> I was always gonna add like Muckle, the better half for Muckle, the, you know, I was gonna try to wait to try to see if I can see if Vinny's watching. Get under his skin pop up from behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Hi Vinny, I love you. Give no shot. Tron dead. You're gonna win the sound now. Okay, with the best hand. So pre flop. <laughs> Okay. These suited gappers and connectors are so oh, juicy really? in cash oh. games. Top pair for Esther. Oh, really? Everyone else has got a draw. 
700 from wow. Kniff. Well, we finally get a look at Matt Salzberg, writer for the TV show Weeds, and he's been in them ever since. Asher Kniff is about to show everyone just why you like hands like this so much. Everybody liking where they're at on the flop. Two pair now for Ite. She checks. So action's on Asher Kniff. I think Asher's got to bet this again. If no one has an ace, everyone could fold. And if not, he can build a pot and try to have a big river suck out. 2K. But who's your gone? I'd say there's a fair shot, Esther. She does not look like an Esther, by the way. Raises here. She can give the wrong price to a draw and get called by lots of worse hands. Just a call. OK. Here comes the river. River is a brick. Kniff's only shot at this is to try to bluff it. We know it's best that he try to give it up. Damn it. <laughs> That's it. That a quick call. Oh, yeah, did I mention that uh, sometimes suited connectors lose, too? <laughs> Don't mind me. I'll get my coat. We have got more Poker Night in America from South Florida when we come back. Poker Night in America is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. Over the break, both Kniff and Affleck added 5K to their stack, so let's see how far they can go with a little extra fuel in the tank. Maybe they should just drive hybrids a doy. Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimo Sabi. You have to sit in the middle seat. Of course. You know, I had a middle seat on the flight over here. When I have a middle seat, I like to be the last person to board the plane. That way I give the people on either side of me like this wicked slow roll. I've actually never played on the ladies' one. I'm excited to play. Be prepared to drink. Yeah, yes. it's, I it think it's a fun. lot more That's fun. Sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, le uh, you know, less uh, you serious and... Is that four or three? I mean, it's not as fun for me because oh. Asher's not like lighting it on fire, but you know. That's a fact. So let me in, I'll light it. Yeah, let him in then. <laughs> Give him always, the always down to light it on fire. It's never a problem. Well, we're, uh, speaking of lighting money on fire, Asher Kniff with kings, Phil Locke with aces. I really wanted to squeeze something good out there. So I was going to say Phil Locke has cracked more kings than inbreeding, but he is not even going to have to crack them. Deal we got. I think against a player as live as Phil Locke, you have to four bet him. He's not going to put in 2250 and then just fold. Even if he's three betting you light, he's probably going to call. You called 2250. You bet 2250. I did. <laughs> we both made factual statements. So the flop is Jack High with a couple of clubs. Yeah, both players have backdoor clubs, too. Almost no shot this turns out well for Kniff. Phil's decided to not continue this flop. This hand might skid out of control because the spaceship is on the other side of planet Earth. <laughs> and I'm, Stuart? I'm not getting any reception. <laughs> You'd think they'd figure out how to bounce the signal. And there go all the chips and a quick call. Uh, it's always aces. Oh, oh God, God, it's always aces. Uh, run it 27 that times? That was the real deal. Nice answer. Ugh. You have clubs too, right? And just about all the air is out of the Kniff balloon, and there it is. Thank you Give very much. Right, Phil, nice playing with you. Smell you later, Asher. No, I'm not. Action, yeah. action player coming on the way. Oh, God. You guys are welcome. Kessler? No. I said action player. You're sarcastic a lot of the time. Well, I'm being serious. Oh, well, look at this. Salzburg's going to play. All right, Jesse. here we go, Jax. Are we getting anybody else What here? did you say about Phil me? Phil Locke, what are you using to power those goggles? Come, come down here. Who's going to come through that door? I bet it's something like gluten-free dark matter. Who just straddled this hand, so he's already in for 100. He's got ace-king. You're welcome for not making you. All right, so here we go. Flop is three, four, five with a couple of spades. What a flop for Phil Locke. Flops a pair and a flush draw. He is and nearly 50% to crack two better hands. Yeah, very quickly. Salzburg is leading with the overpair. 
Continuing his pre-flop aggression. Ooh, it's cool. And it does appear that Phil Locke will be raising. Yep, up to 18.25. Love this raise. He probably won't fold out better, but he could easily have the best hand, and he's building a pot if he gets better. You gotta think is gonna be gone here with Ace King. Well, he does have a gut shot and backdoor spades, but yeah, he's gone. Sorry. Hold on, let me just tell you something before you call. That if you can call, you should shove, because you're beating me right now. And you haven't called yet, so you still have the opportunity to shove. Matt's got a lot to worry about here. I say he can call this, but if another straight or flush card comes, he's gonna have to get away from this the way Showtime got away from weeds. Matt's other option, of course, is to Take ship it in now and just hope one. he's ahead and it comes brick, brick. You want me to shove? I'm just gonna ramble and not offer anything at this point. You know, I knew it was a bad idea to build a poker room right next to the paint mixing machine at Home Depot. And goodbye, Jax. Lock shows him one. Ace, ten of spades, huh? Ace, ten of spades, close enough. Maybe he missed that hand. Looks like we got Jessica Dolly on the rail. I'll allow it. Who that in the seven hole? Oh, it's Kyle Bowker. That's who that is. Oh, okay. Bowker from Shanana? Yes, exactly. Just well, there's a half hour stay. Queen? Oh, right. And he misses. Right. She might be in learning. that window. She's learning what not to exactly. Yeah, that, that's a very You've already learned that, though. It's probably what it is. Right hey, Matt, why bother raising away, those lady kings? You're just going to fold them on a five high flop anyway, right? <laughs> oh, now that was a burn. Yeah, I'm hoping not to. Yeah, you better not blow it. It's better. Oh, so at this point, would you be a proud and Here soccer comes mom the flop or brought or to you by Kimosabi. <laughs> Rainbow, eight high. Real nice flop for Queens. Salzburg bets his queens gets a call from Locke. Shaq out of the way. <laughs> no, Dentali is uh, Lewis's boyfriend. He has to sit directly behind Lewis. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Another deuce on the turn. <laughs> we put Locke checks the in Salzburg one? again. No behind, no, behind Lewis. Phil's not right supposed behind. to have a deuce, so Matt shouldn't have much problem betting this again. Put Mikey on my lap. No problem. I can handle it. Actually, can you just get on his shoulders? And that play? works, dude. <laughs> Salzburg bets 550. And this isn't a super draw heavy board. Your son has found himself in a big pot. So I wonder what Phil thinks Matt's double barreling with. Matt can't love this king, but when Phil calls twice, he's usually not gonna have a random king unless it's two kings or king eight. Another long check from Locke. Um, right. Salzburg bets 1,800, and Phil calls pretty light. I guess after Matt full of that last flop, Phil might think he was Steven Seagaling and out for justice. Just did not believe him, and Phil Locke was wrong. A rare occurrence here on Poker Night America. You should be the proud South mom here. Can't believe Matt Salzburg's Lady Kings held up. In the next segment, we'll see if that luck continues or if it gets stuck in the weeds. A puzzle for like a t-shirt, a t-shirt for a DVD of the movie Rounders and traded it for DJ equipment and then for another piece of like, like DJ lighting type thing, which is pretty cool. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. Time for the cash game. Nice, get there, daylight. Back at Seminole Hard Rock here in Hollywood, Florida. Once per Harvard, Pocket jacks <laughs> again for Matt Salzberg. I'm sure at this point he'd rather have seven deuce and just I'm be able to fold. It. <laughs> it's really just three hunch. Lewis. Matt just wakes up with it. Who's Lewis? Why did he bet oh, three hunch? Lewis. Well, there's one. There's the guy who bet three hunch is Lewis. We're hoping we can three bet over here, just in case you're wondering. I need to separate out the pretenders from the contenders. And Shaq is in. Eight seven offsuit. What's Lewis? That's me. It's Matt and Matt, so we just arbitrarily chose. Well, sorry, Ite arbitrarily took me. No, no, I said this is a Kyle Bowker calls from the Matt small blind with ace three of hearts. I was talking to Matt 
number one. Salty. Muckle Pahuja? And then I said, Queen oh, what should, sure, why not? What should we what call you? Give us some decent what odds. What should we call you? And he said, Lewis. So I said, Lewis. And that it's been Lewis ever since. Valkyrie with the nut flush draw. She knows not what she means or speaks of. Check, check. Terrible hold. <laughs> terrible hold. It was Salzburg bets the Jacks. <laughs> Shaq's got just a gut we're, shot. We're trolling everybody in the pot, by the way. <laughs> uh, guys, Kyle Boker's trying to play some poker. Seven. Shaq's cards to the muck, yeah, over to Bowker. He's got the nut flush draw and a gut shot straight draw. You have to pay 50 and to the he dealer raises to 1,700. You have to pay 50 to the dealer. How much is that? 17. Matt slash Lewis is in a very similar situation to the one he was in before. He's got an overpair to the board, but he's up against the nut flush draw. And we know the Bowker's got even more outs than that. Ring, uh, ringers off, please. Ah, that was Kyle's alarm. I, wow. I was kind of hoping that it was mine and this job was a dream. Wow. And the alarm was rescuing me, but nope, this is real <laughs> life. 40, right when I check raise Lewis. Yeah, it's happening. Sorry, Stapes. Salzburg oh, does yeah. call, oh, not folding jacks again. What's the oh, oh man! Oh no! Sure. Salzburg just got raptured hard. <laughs> That's when you get clawed from See, the out you didn't even know was there. there no? And it looks so meaningless too. The the year where you have flex. <laughs> Clever girl. I'll deal with that. Okay, how about thirty-one hundred? I have no idea how to advise Matt on this hand, and I can see the whole cards. <laughs> like, obviously, I know the move is to fold, but I think I just go broke here, assuming he's got a flush draw, and I try to give him the wrong price. But the price isn't wrong. The price is right. If Matt goes all in, he's going to lose both showcase showdowns, and he's going to have to pay the taxes on the gear supply dog food that he won. Folds Jax again, but this time he was dead right. Nice fold, Salty. So Salzburg's had Jax twice, Queen once, and he's one for three. Not only did he have those three big hands, but they were all over pairs to the board, and he still couldn't win with two. You missed one. You Matt, you missed one $25 raise and a whatever. And Matt, if you if there's a two seven there, that's good for you because then you just we raise the button. Are we playing everyone, the two, everyone, do seven? Yeah, everyone yeah. will pay you two hundred. Two hundred. Yeah. All right, do seven is sounds like it's going into play. Win a hand with the worst starting hand and hold them, and everyone pays you two hundred bucks. I'm like lifetime, way down in the do seven <laughs> game, both playing and bluffing. I just. And defending, because you have to defend against yeah, it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just. Last time I played, I think I paid it out like five times. That's why they do no. it, man. Hello. And Salzburg once again in a fairly no, dicey I, overpair situation. I, I paid it out five times. It is not likely to be an overpair for long. 300 was the bet from Bowker, a call from Salzburg, a five on the turn. Uh, yeah. So Bowker yeah. picks up a straight draw. Somehow eights is still the best hand, and Matt's hand is a blocker, so Bowker shouldn't make the straight this time. Well, here's Sid Salzburg once again. Like, what am I going to do? I actually really like this raise. Pumps it up to 2,300. You're not likely to run out all five undercards to eight, so I like raising here to protect your hand, charge the draws. And Bowker does call. So this pot now approaching 6,000 as we go to the river. Bring the noise, dealer. Oh, man. Salzburg has two eights. Bowker still hits one. <laughs> Salzburg runs worse than all my Tinder dates' cars. Oh. Bowker's all in. Man, what a terrible spot for Matt Salzberg. He's just going to have the best hand here so often. Nuts. So sick. Sicker than the monkey from 28 days later. Just so sickening. Show everybody the hand, get some sympathy at least. 
Now we'll feel for you. Well, there you have it. I mean, is that just real life? <laughs> <sighs> Kyle Bowker, make it more straight than Vice President Pence. Stick around after the break and we'll see what kind of damage that did to Matt Salzberg's chip stack. You have to just barter your way up yeah. from a paperclip, see how high you can, some guy did it all the way up to a house. Yeah. And we went from the paperclip to um, a one of those light up pens, like those pens that you has like a laser and then a puzzle for like a t-shirt a t-shirt for a dvd of the movie rounders i signed the dvd of the movie around Ra the rounders and traded it for dj equipment and then for another piece of like like dj lighting type thing poker night in america is brought to you by our trusted friend kimosabi mezcal why settle for tequila step up to kimosabi all right, Matt Salzberg, I think, is probably going to take at least a good 15 minutes of no pokering for the next couple of moments. Uh, here's who's down on day two. Asher Kniff, uh, our condolences for your 25000 So that's who's losing. Here's who's winning at Seminole Hard Rock. Red bad, green good, obey my dog. Hello, Dan Shack with a $21,000 profit in Glenn BB. It was a great day at the table for him, eh? Whomping $375, he's probably off to buy a pair of designer jeans. Boom shakalaka. I am definitely feeling for Matt Salzberg right now. I haven't seen a cooler that sick since the one Chris puked in when we were tailgating. Well, I love my Appletinis, what can I say? And uh, speaking of, next time, it's our annual ladies' night where our players prove you don't need unsightly body hair to be good at poker, but also that you can totally have unsightly body hair if you choose to. I'm not telling anyone what to do, Kate Hall. For more from Poker Night in America, visit us at PokerNight.com or find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch for up-to-date information, full episodes, and unedited live streams. For the human embarrassment, Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen. We'll see you next time on Poker Night in America. Do you think I'm human? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I mean, is that just real life? River tops at it because he drills a gutter going fishing. I have two gutters. You like it? Mm. You are disgusting.